Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at how to solve optimization problems. So we have consider all right circular cylinders for which the sum of the height and circumference is 30 inches. What is the radius of the one with maximum volume? Now optimization problems can be a nightmare if we don't have a clear direction to go in. So if we follow these steps here, this will kind of give us like a path to follow to make these problems a little bit simpler. Now one of the main parts of solving this is identifying the equation that you want to optimize. So you look for a word like maximize or minimize and that's going to kind of reveal the equation we need. So in this case we're looking to maximize volume of a right circular cylinder. So this line here is probably one of the most important lines in the question. This tells us our primary equation and in this case our primary equation is volume equals pi r squared times h. Now in calculus, when you're looking for a maximum or minimum value, you want to find a derivative, set it equal to zero, find critical values. But notice this equation here has two variables. So our next task is to take our primary equation and to try to turn it into a function with one variable. So this is where the rest of the information comes in. The sum of the height and circumference is 30 inches. So we could set up the equation h plus 2 pi r equals 30. And we'll worry about throwing in units at the end. So this is the height plus the circumference, and this has to be fixed at 30. So what we could do is we're going to solve for h and then make a substitution into our primary equation. So we could subtract 2 pi r on both sides. So this tells us h equals 30 minus 2 pi r. So for the next step here, we're going to make our primary equation into a function. And it's going to be a function of r because we're going to replace h with an expression involving r. So we'll have v of r equals pi r squared times h, which we could replace with 30 minus 2 pi r. So we could distribute here to simplify this, and we'll have v of r equals 30 pi r squared, when we multiply the first two terms, and we distribute to the last term, we're going to have minus 2 pi times pi is pi squared, r squared times r is r to the third power. So this is our function of one variable here that we're going to maximize. Now, one important thing is to consider the domain of this function. Considering that we're talking about a right circular cylinder, the radius has to be positive. So we need r to be greater than zero for this problem. So this we're going to box off because this is a very important piece of information for solving this problem here. So next we're gonna use the concept to find a absolute maximum value, we need to use the concept of finding an extreme value. So we're going to take the derivative of our function here. We have v prime of r equals, and we're just going to use power rule. So we're going to have 2 times 30 pi is 60 pi, r to the 2 minus 1, so just r to the first power. And then we're going to use power rule on r to the third power, 3 times negative 2 pi squared is negative 6 pi squared. So we'll have negative 6 pi squared. r to the 3 minus 1 gives us r squared here. So next what we want to do is find the roots of this derivative here. So we're going to set v prime of r equal to 0. But what we should do first before we set it equal to 0 is we'll factor out a greatest common factor. So for this problem here, the greatest common factor will be 6 pi r. And if we factor this term out on the first part of this expression here, we'll be left with 10. And then we'll have minus pi times r. Okay, so we're just factoring out a GCF of 6 pi r. So setting this equal to 0, we're going to have 6 pi r equals 0. And we'll have 10 minus pi times r equals 0. Now this first factor we could reject. This is going to give us r equals 0 when we divide by 6 pi on both sides. But remember, r has to be greater than 0. 
And think about it, we can't have a cylinder with radius zero, it would be non-existent. So we're going to reject this root here. However, the second factor is going to give us, when we add pi r to both sides and divide by pi, it tells us r equals 10 over pi. And if we want to throw the units in, we're talking about radius, which is a distance concept. This is 10 over pi inches. Now, before we close this problem out, this is the correct answer. But if you're not careful, you could fall into a trap that you have to check that this is actually a maximum value of our function. So what you should do next is make a sign chart for the first derivative v prime. So we have v prime and notice this sign chart is going to start at zero and it could go on to infinity and the critical value occurs at 10 over pi. Now if we plug in here, let's say we plug in something between zero and 10 over pi. If you plug in one, you could plug it into the factored form and it's going to give you a positive value here which allows us to label this first interval as positive. If you plug in something past 10 over pi, something like four or five, you plug that into this factored form here and you're gonna get something negative here. So let's say if we plug in five, we're going to get a negative value. And what this tells us, we can conclude, we can conclude that this is an absolute maximum because there's only one critical value and it's a local maximum. So if v is increasing from 0 to 10 over pi, and then it's always decreasing from 10 over pi to infinity, then that tells us that v of 10 over pi is an absolute maximum. So this radius of 10 over pi will generate a right circular cylinder with maximum volume. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on solving an optimization problem. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.